So, a lot of you guys requested a pack opening. Um, there's a little bit of backstory to this. So, a couple videos back I talked about um, how I play Pokemon, like the card game, competitively, and how I thought I kind of should outgrow that. And a lot of you guys are like, no, you should uh, continue doing it. So, a lot of you guys wanted to see a pack opening or whatever, and uh, I was like, okay, cool. Because I had a bunch of stuff that was unopened that I haven't uh, looked through and used to build any newer decks, and I might as well share my hobby with you and all that cool stuff. So yeah, I'll open up a couple of this and uh, share it with you. I'll even teach you what the different things here are and how that contributes to the game and stuff for those who have never played Pokemon TCG, which I think is an, an amazing game. It's just awesome. It's yeah, Anybody can play it. It's really easy to play and really fun to even just collect the cards. So let's jump into it. So what, what did I... Uh, purchase a while back to share with you today. Uh, I have a pre-built deck, a tin because I need somewhere to put my uh, all these cards that I'm opening up today, and also this sick foil. Take a look at that. Oh, whoa! Uh, come on, no, yeah, nice foil here, and um, an elite trainer box. So. We're going to go through all of that, what the value is in purchasing all these things, what they do in the game, what can you get out of it, all that cool stuff. And I'm going to try to make it as you know simple as possible so that anybody who doesn't know how to play this game may be interested by the end of the video. So let's begin with the tin. Ah, uh, that rhymed. <laughs> so typically what would you find in a tin is five booster packs, which is what well, we'll go over that, and the little flagship, you know, foil Pokemon card. Like this isn't a full art, but... Looks pretty good. This is a Zama Zamazenta. I've never figured out a way to really pronounce the, the fucking shield Pokemon's name, but like I always said Zamazenta. But um, yeah, let's just uh, jump into this and take a look at some of the packs in there. So we're going to just crack this open. My big meaty gloved fingers. Ooh, fresh plastic. Take all that plastic off. Now, typically the reason why someone would buy a tin is because they want a really nice place to put their cards. Um, and they want the flagship Pokemon, but really, I buy it for the storage and the fact that it's a really good value. I think it's like sub 20 bucks for five packs and then a really nice oil card. It's pretty good stuff. I'll throw the plastic onto the ground, you know, for the environment. You do it for the turtles, you feel me? I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna only show one tin, I'm not gonna show both. Like I said, I, I bought like so much that I don't think I want to make this like into a 30 minute long video. I just want to give you an idea of what I do on my free time, which is pick up new cards. Um, let's take a look inside. Ooh. Sorry, you probably can't see anything. This is like really rough. Come on. There you go. These gloves have like no grip. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So this is typically what you would see on the inside of a tin. Plastic and five booster packs. Um, in these packs, see if we get anything nice and uh, keep a move on. The next thing we'll do after this tin is the deck. All right foil and then oh wow mm, they feel substantial so we have I think all of these are either sword and shield oh we got we, we have a sun and moon it's a little bit old uh, sun and moon cards are gonna go out of um, they're not gonna be playable past September and then X and, ooh, X and Y evolution that's a little bit late uh, but okay we got two rebel clash one sword and shield one sun and moon and Evolutions. We'll go through all of those. See what we get. Anything nice here? Now, typically, there's. T uh, whoa! Shit! Fucking almost dropped you. Here we go. Here we go. So we let's take a look at these powers real quick. If I can, okay, we have uh, Dauntless Shield. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from opponents with the um, with a V Max Pokemon. Uh, we have Assault Tackle, one, deals 130 damage, a little bit out of focus, god damn. Uh, discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, okay. He's a Steel type, basic, so we can put him onto the field as soon as we begin the game. You don't have to Evo to him, and yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Um, let's take a look at the rarity here. Uh, no rarity. Okay, so this is not a rare card, it's just, you know, a regular tin foil. So yeah, looks pretty good. We'll put him to the side, and we'll jump into these packs. All right, all right, all right. We have our packs out of our first tin. Um, we're gonna take a look. So just for those who don't know, there are ten cards in each pack, uh, and these are different like 
releases. So there's Rebel Clash, there's Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon, X and Y Evolutions. It's just different cards in each pack. And you can add them all to one deck or to specific de decks. And uh, But you have to take care of knowing which cards are going to go out of the game. Or will, or the rules will change. It, it's a whole lot of... A lot of finicky stuff. I, I'll go into that if you actually guys are curious about like, oh, whether what's what cards are no longer playable, which cards are, what are the changes. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it as simple as possible in this video because I'm just sharing what I do on my free time. All right, so let's go ahead and crack open this pack. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna split it open on the side a little bit. Jesus Christ. Yep, this is the Rebel Clash deck. I tried to get a Rebel Clash booster box, but I guess a lot of people are trying to open Pokemon cards now because I couldn't find a single one, not even in my comic shop. Can I open this with my gloves on? Hold up. Urgh. Come on, motherfucker. Open up. Damn it. Holy shit. Ah, oh, there you go. Got it. Your boy got it. First pack opened up. Slide this out. That's the code card. Woo. Now watch my fingers carefully. To those who want to be able to understand like the layout of the cards when they are in a pack, but you want to end up with the fault of the hollow being your last pull. You get four cards. Put this to the front. And this card that's facing you right now is our rare hollow. But we're not gonna look at that first. We're going to flip and see. Okay, so we have a dark energy. Uh, let me go ahead and focus up so you guys can actually read. <laughs> uh, we have a capture energy. All right, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Charbug. Shuckle. Oh, oh, fuck. I already... Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Okay. Skunky. Grubbin. Wingo. Not to. And this is from our Rebel Clash uh, pack. Magmar. This is a just a reverse hollow magmar. Okay. And ooh. Okay. All right. We got ourselves a full art too. Okay. This is a boltund or a bolt hound or whatever. How you ever. Yeah, I just say boltund. Electrify. Okay. That's not too bad. A full art. One. Okay. And a rarity here. It's not too rare. We don't have a low number. But it is, I'm going to try my best to, but okay, yeah, 180, 181 out of 192, if you guys can see that. I'm sorry that my camera sucks at fucking focusing. Um, yeah, so, ooh, so we'll put that to the side. Next pack, another one from Rebel Clash, so let me try to fight with this one with my giant gloves. <laughs> put that code card to the side. Same situation, one, two, three three, four, put it right to the front, this card being our rare, or hollow, so we have another grass type energy, we have a Olina, oh, that's a nice, nice trainer card right there, uh, double twin, oh, twin energy, twin normal, uh, Heliolisk, okay, cool, Clefairy, Voltorb, Nosepass, Wingle, again, all right, Phantom, Ooh, reverse hollow Growlithe, and we finish with a hollow Duralidon. So that's pretty cool. 138 out of 192. Not too bad. Metal sharpener, what does that do? Attach one metal energy to a card from discard pile. Okay, so we can kind of repeat one. This is a good a good inclusion to our steel deck, which I'm going to build with um, all of the Rebel Clash like factory decks that we bought. So something like this. I'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but let's continue with the pack openings. Uh, you know, scissors or something, but we're doing real good with the gloves. Thank goodness. Okay, got a code card. Uh, like before, one, two, three, and four. Go ahead and put that to the front. Let's hope we get ourselves another full art. All right, we always begin with an energy, so we have ourselves a fighting type energy. Bade. I, he, his his story in the game is actually pretty nice. I, I like his his story arc. It's new. Even though the Sword and Shield game was a little bit underwhelming, still liked it though. Okay. Oh, reboot. All right. All right. Rare candy. Okay. Uh. All right. Score bunny. Looking good. Nick it. Ooh. Ooh. 
Chincho? I've never, like, I really am not good at pronouncing, like, really strange Pokemon names. Even stuff that's, like, common, like, I think it's Chincho. Diglett. Rotom Bike, Reverse Hollow. And Marnie. Oh, Hollow Marnie. Okay, I have each player shuffles their hand and puts it onto the bottom of their deck. If either player put any cards on the bottom of their deck, in this way, you draw five cards and opponent. Okay, that's a pretty good supporter. Just, I have to add, like, so much thumb strength because these gloves have like, little to no grip. All right, Toad card. One, two, three, and four. Come on, give us another full art hollow. Okay, we have a water type energy. Whirlipede. Guzma. Oh, a supporter. Okay, and that's a new supporter. Super scoop up. Ooh, oh, okay, that's gonna look that's gonna do well. Togedamaru. Swalk. <laughs> it's a nice fighting type. Mudbray. Oddish. Dusko. Reverse hollow oddish. And uh just a regular Toxicroak. <laughs> but that's another good reverse hollow right there. Poison powder. Looking good. There's some nice supporters in there and nice items. So the last pack from the uh what's it called? Booster not I was about to say booster box. Uh tin is the X and Y evolutions, which is a little old. Alright, finally, Jesus Christ. You, I, I kinda had to hit it with a bat a little bit. You know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Alright. We finally were able to get it off. God damn. One, two, three, four. Who's who would have known? Opening a Pokemon card with gloves on would be difficult. That's our that's our Whoa! Wait a minute! Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Okay, uh oh, alright. M Pidget EX. Pretty good. I don't think I'll be able to include this into any of my uh, what the f whoa what the hell I'm looking at these cards here I don't understand did they just throw in a bunch of old whoa wait whoa wait whoa 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 wait a second whoa wait 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 a second what is going on here it's an MP like that was like from what is this pack ah where did I put it X Y evolutions what's going on here. Uh, is there something special about this? Pokemon XY expansion comes cope. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm not familiar with this one. I was like, this is a little old. So apparently, uh, hopefully you guys can read that. I'll try to I'm gonna do manual focus. Covers over 100 cards. It contains over 100 cards. What the fuck? Okay, we're. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff because we're getting cards from like. Multiple different sets here. Wait a minute. All right, so we got ourselves an M Pidgeot EX with Mock Cyclone, uh, a trainer from like base set. I don't understand. We have like a base set trainer. Uh, all right, a Poliwhirl. Okay, and with Amnesia, we have ourselves what? Misty Determination. Uh, you can't play these cards. What the fuck? Uh, Voltorb, all right. Poliwog. Uh, Ghastly, basic. Magmite. S seal, and a hollow energy retrieval trainer. That is so strange. What number is this? Number 77 out of 168. Okay, uh, this is a really strange pack, but uh, I, I appreciate it. Okay, uh, <laughs> especially like just the immediate, the immediate uh, mega e mega Evo Pidgeot that you I can't even use. Mega evolutions aren't even allowed in the game anymore. <laughs> yep, the Elite Trainer Box. This is the cool stuff. This is this is the cool stuff here. You get a lot here. You get a whole ream of energies. You get a bunch of blister packs. You get acrylic uh, status counters, really nice dice, counter dice, paint counter dice, and flip die. You get, uh, you just get a lot. I'm gonna show you everything that you get in this. It's amazing. And it's a great tool to build the best deck. So yeah, I'll go ahead and jump into that now, actually. And the best way, at least my way of building a deck, is using the Elite Trainer Box, 
and a theme deck. I use both of them. So I use a theme deck to get a real, like just a regular 60 card deck that has enough Pokemon, enough trainers, and enough energies to be passable, to be, you know, satisfactory. And then I use the extra energies here, the really nice pulls in the packs here, uh, the card sleeves to make this look nice, and everything else to make a really nice, mm, great union when it comes to building a great pack. And um, did I say pack? I'm sorry, deck. <laughs> I use Elite Trainer Boxes and Theme Decks and combine the two. Let me make sure you can see that. Alright, so yep, this is just the regular Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Box. I don't have, I, I have the Rebel Clash one, but I'm going to save that for myself. I'm just going to open this one up in front of you. So yeah, let's go ahead and slide off this cardboard here. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot to mention that the Elite Trainer Box comes with a sick deck box. Like a really nice place to hold all of your stuff. Alright, so you have a player's guide which tells you not just how to play but also all of the rule changes for this set and the future ones that will come in September and August all right since we're all situated now we, I'm gonna try to zoom out a little bit and make sure that you can see everything because it's a pretty tall box as you can see look at take a look at that actually hold on let me Ooh, look at that. It's really nice, really nice stuff. Uh, usually Elite Trainer Boxes uh, retail around $40 to $50, I think. Uh, I, it's been a while since I purchased this one. I think I bought this guy about a month and a half ago, month, month, two months ago maybe. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Ooh, yeah, look at all that. We have ourselves, I think, I think this is about 10 or like six, uh, yeah, that's 10 booster packs right there. Pretty good stuff. Um, we'll go ahead and slide out this cardboard here. Throw it onto the floor. Do it. Do it for the turtles. Go ahead and slide out these booster packs. Take a look at that. Wow, all of them are from the same set that that you know the <laughs> elite training box is from. So all of them are sword and shield uh, blister packs, booster packs. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side. Whoop 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 whoop. There you go. We get two really nice. Just oh, oh, I already look. I'm already looking at the dice, but look at these. This is pretty typical, and I have I have so many of these now because I've bought so many Elite Trainer boxes. But uh, these are just acrylic uh, status counters. So we have burn and uh, poison, like I showed you before. But these ones are a little bit nice and will certainly last a lot longer than the cardboard ones that they used to provide in theme decks. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side. No real reason in opening that because th that's pretty. Typical, but the cool stuff that I am gonna open though are the challenge, like I guess the professional dice or the, like the really nice. Ooh, is that glitter? Oh, they put glitter in these ones. Okay, okay. I thought that was only in the Rebel Clash uh, Elite Trainer boxes that they were gonna put glitter in the flip die. But let's go ahead and take this out. And this is gonna be a lot easier to open because it's like glove friendly. At least I thought. Oh, come on. There we go, there we go. Good stuff. So, the blue dice are damage counter dice. Uh, you, you put just, oh, 70 damage, 110 damage, boop, put it right there. Um, and then this here is the flip die. And the way that, I guess, I don't know if it's the correct way to use it, this is just how I've been using it for the past many moons. Of how, like I've been buying Elite Trainer boxes since high school. So, uh, usually it's just like, oh, what, what's your number four? I'm like, okay, I say, two and whatever number is closer you get to go first i think that's how i usually do it and if i don't use a flip die which i don't always do uh i just use a coin <laughs> you know just the coin the, the multiple coins that i've picked up from theme decks and you know stuff but yeah we'll go ahead and put that to the side uh, here is the deck sleeves or the card sleeves uh, right here that looks actually Pretty funky fresh, I like that. Very simple design. Still my favorite by far is the Gengar sleeves that from the really, really old uh, Elite Trainer Box deck. I think I still have it. That and then the uh, Pokemon 20th Anniversary runs look pretty sweet, but this looks good too. I like it, it's really simple. Go ahead and put that to the side. And then the Coup de Gras, the best part of this deck. Of, of this entire, you know, set here is the solid, like, 60 cards worth of energies, and it's every energy, dark all the way through to normal, 
So you'll find Fairy. I think Fairy is in here, but I don't know if Fairy is going to be included in the game past September. You guys can tell me if you know. Um, but yes, every energy is in here. Very good. Very, very, very valuable stuff for any sort of deck builder. Energy cards, trainer cards, all that cool stuff. Can't get enough of that. Go ahead and put that to the side. But I know what you guys are all here for. You're not here for the dividers and everything else. You're here for these. You're here for the, the the cardboard crack. You're here you're here for the stuff that has bankrupted so many children for so many decades. Booster packs. So let's go ahead and go through them all. All right. So I have them all stacked up right over there, and we're gonna go through all of them and hope we get and let's hope we get some really really nice pulls. And yeah, cool stuff. So we're starting with the first one that has like the flagship Pokemon on it. Who would have thought, you know? <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, go ahead and open this up. Come on, gloves! Come in clutch! Ah, uh, and it did. Look at that. All right, code card. I'll keep that one for myself. I'll be a little bit stingy. All right. One, two, three, four. Let's hope we get ourselves a really nice card right here. All right, dark energy. Oh, hold up. Corpus Squire. Great Ball. Okay, can't get enough of that. Potion, can't get enough of that. Uh, Sizzlepeed. Yamper. Clobo. <laughs> Clobopus. Cottony. Oh, oh, ooh. He is. Woo! Ah! Uh, Chutile. Reverse Hollow Bolton. Oh, Lamprey. V Max Full Art. Oh, oh, with G Max Pump, does 30 more damage per each water energy. Oh my god, oh my god, this is beautiful. That, oh, and it already does 90 base damage without water. Oh, and it's all, oh my god, you see that? Okay, those stars there, those are normal type energy. So that means you can throw on a dark energy and still be able to use this attack. That's amazing, that's amazing. Okay, what's its rarity? Uh, I'm trying to see here, and I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. Ooh, 50? Number 50 of 202? Oh, man. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's... That's crazy. That's crazy. And this, of course, evolves from Lampreys V. So let's hope we pull that so we can have this. Oh, well, this is going to be a sick water deck. You are going to... You're going to go right here. Oh, my game in general that I haven't even figured like remembered the flagship Pokemon's names really just goes to show how in like kind of whack that game was all right I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna stop shitting on that game all right you already know okay so we got ourselves and wait let me go ahead and got ourselves an electric type energy we got ourselves a Galvan 2 yeah, Galvan Galvantria. Ah, Jesus Christ! I swear, I'm, I I can read, guys. I swear, I can read. I just don't know. Some it's really hard to pronounce. <laughs> uh, Leon or Leone? I don't know. Energy switch. See, look, I, I told you, I, I'm terrible. Blipbug. Rhyhorn. Minchio. Chinachu. Krogunk. Reverse Hollow. Stone Journer and a regular Senti Scorch. So a little whack with this one. This one's a little whack, but not too bad. Not too bad. We got ourselves some some trainers in there, and that's not too awful. Next one. All right. Let's take a look in the book. Reading Rainbow. Whew. Okay, so we're starting out with a fire type. Did I just fighting type? God, Jesus, you can tell it's late. Uh, quick ball. Manti. Hold up, let me go ahead and focus that up for you guys so you can get that clear shot. Dotler. Clobopus. Goldine. Roslia. Ghastly. Pawned. Reverse Hollow Blitbug and a Hollow Cinderace. Ooh, that's dope. Cause 
I can't get enough of a score bunny. Can't get enough. It's the rarity 35 of 202. We have Pyro Ball Burning Kick in 170 HP. Code card. Focus up. One, two, three, four. Let's hope for something nice. Got ourselves a fire type and oh! oh! Calm down. <laughs> Rare candy. Uh, Loomberry, Corvus Guire, <laughs> Scorpy, <laughs> Clobopus, Wooloo, Sobel, Pinchurchin, Pokemon Center Lady Reverse Hollow, and oh fuck me backwards. Look at this. Oh, and more, more full, more full arts. Oh my god. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, ooh. And when this is a basic, ah, yes. Psychic type, uh, we have ourselves a 100, uh, yeah, 91 out of 202. Ooh, I love full arts. <sighs> I can't get enough. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's hope for something nice right here. We got ourselves a psychic energy. Uh, ferret horn. Let me back up a little bit. Hold up. Heat more. Metal Saucer, okay. That's gonna be nice to put into a metal deck. Muna, Rosalia, Chewtile, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Reverse Hollow Ordinary Rod, and a Common Drumpa, Drampa. All right, let's continue. We have three booster packs left. So let's go ahead and zoom out here and focus up. And let's go ahead and check, take a look and see if some magic happens. Ah! The SAT is easier than opening up these packs with gloves on. Jesus Christ. I'm going to love opening up the rest of my packs, the rest of my Pokemon stuff, by myself without these gloves on. Alright. Go ahead and throw that to the side. One, two, three, four. To the front we go. Let's hope for something beautiful. Grass type energy. The wacky. Pokey gear 3.0. Whoa, what is this? Aurora energy. This can you can attach this card to one of your Pokemon only if you discard another card from your hand. Makes sense. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but only provides one energy at a time. Whoa, that's a that's interesting. That's gonna be an interesting little Molly. Grossy Fleur, Goldine, Diglett, Scorpy, Reverse Hollow Cottony, and a Stone Journer. Okay. Okay. Code card. Oh! Haha, <laughs> it's out of focus. You can't see. One, two, three, four. There you go. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, I didn't even say it. <laughs> Electric type energy, drizzle, evolution incense. Mmm, look good. Slazzle, Sobel, Mark, Marcus, Mark, marked. See, I, I, I swear, I, I, I am, I'm a college student. I can read, guys. I swear. Mudbray, <laughs> Ponard. Score Bunny, Dope, Reverse Hollow Pharaoh Seed, and Common Claydol. Nice Pharaoh Seed. All right, with the power of Lamprey. Hopefully, this one will contain something beautiful. Because remember, we we had some nice stuff over there. Ugh. Some nice, some nice pulls over there. Let's see if we get something nice here. You feel me? Come on, Lamprey. Come on. We can do this. Over here speaking to a car pack at nearly 12 o'clock at night. This is, yeah, I swear I'm sane, guys. I swear I'm sane. Ah! Something beautiful. And since it's the last pack, I'm feeling 
I'm feeling real generous. I don't even know. See, look, I haven't even looked. I haven't moved anything yet. I don't know what's in it. It could be anything. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. But since it's the last pack of the day, I'm feeling real generous. So before we do anything, this code is to anybody who wants to play it online. You can go ahead and hit that QR code up if you're strange, or just type in the code, you know, the code into, you know, the Pokemon game. I'm feeling real generous. It could be anything in this. We're about to find out what it is. Uh, I really hope I didn't give away something valuable. Jesus Christ. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, God, please. Please. Okay. Fighting type energy. Kingler. Rhydon. Big Charm. Clobopus. Ooh, a really nice Ghastly. Rokadi. Sizzlepeep. Snoom, a Reverse Hollow Bisharp, and a Rillaboom. So, that's a nice, ooh, that's a solid Reverse Hollow, I like that. That's all of the cards. I'll go ahead and put up all the rare pulls that we got today, but I'm gonna clean up all of this, and we'll end, it, end the video like that, so, cool. All right, so, we've gone over all of the things that I've purchased. Not necessarily, because I have a bunch of other stuff I'm going to go over myself, like I haven't said that before. Uh, but let's go ahead and go over some of the best pulls that we had in this video, and then we can end it on a high note, and then I can go to sleep, because it's literally one in the morning. <laughs> yeah, here we go, to the full arts, the cool stuff, the stuff that Ehlers cares about. This is what Panda Daddy likes, this is what I like. Full arts. Stuff looks pretty, looking nice, looking good. Look at that, look at that. 181 out of 192. Not too, not too rare, but cool enough. We already looked through all the attacks on this guy, but it looks amazing, doesn't it? Ooh, Bolt Storm, Electrify. Maybe it'll encourage me to make an electric deck. I have yet to do that, because I'm not really good with electric types like that, but this not look so adorable. All right, next one. This, a little age, a little, some somebody a blast from the past. Nearly a full art. A, um, you know, Mega Pidgeot EX. 220 HP. Probably will include it in my old, like, uh, expanded deck. Or, um, unlimited deck. Because it's so out of print. Like, you cannot play cards like this anymore competitively. Th those are out of, uh, out of the set. Alright. So, our next full art. We have ourselves an ND. NDD? 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 I am the big sleepy. All right. Yes, 91 out of 202. That's pretty good shit. It looks good. I just like it. I like it. I don't play psychic types at all, but I can't get enough of full arts. But by far, my most favorite is Lamprey. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. V Max Lamprey, 320 HP. G Max Pump. Let's take a look at that. Ooh. This attack does 30 more damage per water type energy. That's amazing. That's amazing stuff. I just been past, what, 15 minutes of me having this card. I've already thought of different ways of using him in multiple different water decks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But yeah, overall, I think we have ourselves a lot of good pulls. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure you guys can see them so they aren't just like colorful clumps on the desk. But yeah, it's been great. So... That is everything. Go ahead and zoom in and make sure you guys can see that. That's about all the stuff I wanted to show you. Just something real simple. I don't think this is gonna be a permanent thing on the channel, but a lot of you guys wanted a pack opening. So I gave you a pack opening, a deck opening, and like a, a everything opening. Try to give you a little idea of how much I buy, because anytime I go to the store to purchase Pokemon cards, I purchase some tons. So you got a little bit of taste of what I do on my, uh, on my, excuse me, free time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you want another one of these pack openings, I I'm willing to do it. I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't interested in this, but so many of you guys voted on it in the poll, and so many of you guys talked about it in the comments of that video, and the comments of other videos. So yeah, I wanted to make sure you guys could, you know, see all this and get it. And I, I get to have new cards, and you guys get to have different content. So yeah, also, if you guys were wondering, I don't know if you were, but I'm going to just take you off of the tripod. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's crazy. It's crazy. I'm going to flip you. Go flip you here so you can see. Ah, Jesus. A lot of you guys are like, oh, what is he wearing? What is he, what is he wearing? 
Oh, oh, is that the, uh, sorry, I'm sour sweater? <gasps> what? What? On the Teespring? Oh my gosh, is that what he's wearing in, during the summer? During a summer night? Is he sweating under three different lights right now? But he's wearing this really cool sweater so that you guys could wear it? Yes! Yes, it looks good, doesn't it? Looks great. It's on the Teespring. You should buy it. Ooh, look at that. It's actually, it feels really nice on the skin. Feels really good. It's, uh, it stops at the lower neck area, so it gives you places to breathe and stuff. Uh, it's a cool color. Green, you can also get it in white and uh, gray and dark green. So a lot of colors, a lot of choices here. So yeah, I'll put you back on the <laughs> tripod now. Whoa, whoa, don't, don't get motion sickness. Ugh. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little pack opening. Uh, I'll do more if you want more. I'll do less if you want less. And yeah, as always, stay zesty. I'll catch you in the next Reddit video that may come out eventually. I don't know. I, I've, I've recorded this a couple days ago. It's, uh, it's in the past, but you're seeing it in the future. <gasps> Ooh. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you noticed in the video, I had to cut out the entire um, pre-built deck portion of it because if I included that, the video would be, I think, pushing at least 50 minutes. Like, it was going to be really long. So I cut that out. If you want to see that clip included in another pack opening video, let me know in the comments down below. But seriously, I hope you enjoyed this long video. I made sure it was long enough so that the people who ask for a pack opening video can get their full if, you know, this doesn't become a, you know, reoccurring thing on the channel. I just wanted to include this because so many people wanted to see this video, so hope you enjoyed. Let me know by telling me in the comments and liking the video. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters. So thanks again to Taki, Bunny Boo, Dustin, Canned Eggplant, Kyle, Hostmar, Keith Myers, Hannah, Pixie Art 5, Lauren Green, Catherine Taylor, Jason, Aerolina, Rajan, Clara, John Robinson, Ethan, Vermont, Noobsler, Trenton Golden, Trojan, Yeetmaster, Arjen, Noah, Brody, Muffy Lou Who, Cleric, Sir Teacup, Immortal EXE, and Trey. Thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, stay zesty.